monthly reports? Mr. President. Uh, the Leader of the Opposition. Uh, Mr. President, I move private member's business item number 634, standing outside the order of presence in my name, uh, relating to a standing order 52, relating to the learning management and business reform okay. issue. And I, I move that. Uh, Mr. President, this, is, uh, this matter has come before this House once before uh, last year, but uh, sadly the government took a, an unduly restrictive or technical approach to the documents they chose to produce. The Learning Management and Business Reform Program is a New South Wales Department of Education project designed to replace various computer systems and to roll them into one information technology system in schools and TAFEs, including human resources, payroll, finance and student administration. It was supposed to be completed and operating across all 2,218 schools by December 2014 at a cost of $483 million. Uh, but as of November of last year, the program had cost $573 million, was $90 million over budget, and at that time was six months late in being rolled out to schools. It's now, of course, over 12 months late. Uh, importantly, the government has repeatedly refused requests to release information about the project's total costs. The Auditor-General uh, reached the figure of, four, of $483 million. Uh, the Auditor-General says uh, that figure is an underestimate and not all costs had been included. Um, and the government has resisted producing more information, citing uh, commercial inconfidence. The issue has been pursued in this place and in the other place through questions without notice 16 times since May of last year. Yes, yeah, pursued in the budget and estimates education hearings. There were about 60 to 70 questions, including follow up questions. And in the Treasury budget estimates of last year, hearings, there were a number of questions, including follow up questions. The Treasurer confirmed that the Department of Education would be forced to cover the costs of the blowout from their existing funding, which would mean that schools would be forced to raid their capital expenditure budgets meaning less money for maintenance and upkeeps of the schools. And of course, as we see, the New South Wales State Government is some $732 million behind in the school maintenance program. Uh, that information comes from uh, GIPA applications, which show uh, uh, the, the uh, maintenance backlog for schools has blown out by a factor of six or seven fold since this government came to office. Uh, the final cost of implementing the LMDR is said to be anywhere up to $1 billion. Uh, the Premier told Parliament in last <coughs> August that the LMDR would be implemented across 2016, but last, late last year it was revealed that Sorry. implementation would only begin in September 2017, and of course it could even be later given the track record. Uh, access to these documents is vital if we're to shine a light onto this important area of public administration. Surely uh, uh, the investment of resources in our schools and TAFEs across New South Wales and whether that is being spent properly and efficiently is of vital concern, particularly given uh, the backlog of maintenance for schools and the butchering of the TAFE system uh, on this government's watch. We need access to these monthly reports uh, to the Department of Education Executive about the LMBR if we're going to get to the bottom of what is really happening in this area. The government at every turn has resisted transparency and scrutiny and openness. Uh, this House took the step of joining with the opposition uh, to call for papers in this area last year. As I said at the outset of my contribution, uh, the government took an unduly narrow and technical approach to the documents they chose to produce. Uh, we have recast the, the Standing Order 52 request uh, in a way that we hope will get to the bottom of this matter, and I earnestly enjoin all, party, all parties and all members uh, to hold this government to account and to call for these important documents.